Okay, so in my last video, I showed you guys how to create composition notebooks, right? So it was making the line paper that looked just like this. This is the line paper that we created to go inside of your interior book when you were publishing on Amazon KDP. So today we're going to create an Amazon KDP composition notebook cover, and we're going to be creating it using Midjourney and Canva, okay? So let's get started. The first thing that I always do when I'm creating my cover is I go to the KDP cover calculator and this is going to give me the uh, specific template that I need so that I don't get any errors when I get ready to upload my book into KDP's platform. So starting here, the binding type is going to be paperback. The interior is black and white and then white paper and we're doing left to right inches. The trim size is eight and a half by 11 inches. And the page count, I know the last time we did our composition notebook, we had 120 pages. But for this reference, I'm going to do 200 pages. And the reason that I'm going to be doing 200 pages is because KDP gives you two options for your title, right? So you can either put your title on the cover of your book, like the front cover of the book, or you could put it on the spine. So I'm doing 200 pages because I wanna make sure that we have enough pages to make the book thick enough where we can add the text on the spine because you're gonna see how I do the cover where it's gonna be very simple, but still yet beautiful and eye-catching. So instead of the 120 pages that we did, I'm gonna do 200 pages for this. And then we're gonna to go to calculate the dimensions. And then of course, this gives us the full cover dimensions here, which is 17.7 uh, by 11.25. And then I'm also gonna go ahead and download the template so that we can insert that into the Canva um, template, which makes it just so much easier to work around. All right, so now we're gonna go back to Canva on the home page, and we're gonna click on create a design, custom size, and then we're gonna switch this to inches. And then here's where we're gonna put in our full cover dimensions, which is 17.7 by 11.25, so 17.7 by 11.25, create a new design. This will give us our full template. And just a reminder, this is gonna be for the front cover and the back cover. Cause I had one of my students previously say that they only had this one file and they were trying to figure out where the file was for the back cover. But this is going to be your template for your back and your front cover. So your back and your front cover only consist of one file, okay? So we have this file. So we're going to go ahead and upload our template. And we're just going to drag and drop that and pull it out to make it fit perfectly to the dimensions. It'll turn purple around the edges once it fits. And this is just going to be our guide that we're going to be using, okay? Now... The way that I actually got my cover image was through Midjourney. Once you signed up, you got your account and everything. The way that you start producing images is you have to start with the prompt backslash and then imagine. You have to start every prompt with that, okay? And so as you can see, once you start typing it, it'll come up for you. And then you can just click on it. And then from here, you can just start putting in whatever type of image you want. For example, what I used was black girl writing a notebook, colorful, bright colors, blues and teals, rainbow colors. And then I just go ahead and hit enter and then it automatically goes ahead and starts producing those images for you, okay? So as you can see, it's producing four images for me according to the prompt that I fed into it. And it doesn't take long to produce. As you can see, it's getting clearer and clearer. And really the images are perfect, right? So once you get your images, you would just click on it and then you would just choose one that you like. Now I will say sometimes you have to like open your browser big because sometimes they have like five fingers. You have to make sure you're just watching. And you see how her pencil is upside down. I don't really like stuff like that. Um, but these are some really cute images, you see? So then um, if you decide that you like one of the images, then all you'll do is you'll go click on either U1, U2, U3, or U4. U1 is this image, U2 is this image, U3 is this image, U4 is this image. So let's say I like U1, but I want to see if it can give me anything where the pencil is facing the correct way. So I wanna do a different version of U1. So let's see if I do a different version of U1 and then I'm gonna hit submit. And so these are different versions of that one that I saw. See, here the pen is turned correctly. Um, and here is turned correctly. So this is how you would 
use the prompt to create your images. And I used the same prompt and I also created this image and I went ahead, ahead and upscaled this image and I saved it. So this is the one that I'm going to be using for my notebook cover image. So now that I've saved this image, I'm gonna head back over to Canva so that we can go ahead and create the actual cover. All right, so now we're back inside of Canva where we had already uploaded the template, right? So we have our template. Now we're gonna go ahead and start working on the cover that we saved for Mid Journey. So I like to pull this down just a little bit just so I can start working on my background. And I'm gonna go ahead and upload my uh, cover image that I had saved. All right, so I have my cover image. And I am just going to drag and pull to line her up. And bring this over just a little bit so that it can meet that um, dotted area from our template. All right. So now we have our image. Now I'm gonna bring her down just a little bit, just so we can go ahead and get the background color. So I'm gonna click on background color and here it'll tell you some of the colors that are in your photo. So you can play around with that to see if that's, to see what background color you like. Mm, I like this one and the blue. My favorite color is teal, so. Yeah, let's rock with the teal. That's my favorite color, so let's do that one. But I do like the orange color too. So I'm gonna just pull that up. And now we have a background that will um, also match the, you know, some of the colors in the book. Also, let me just play around because with the background colors, one thing that I actually like is the gradient. And so you see how it has these two colors. What if I wanted to add that, um, that other orange color that we had? Let me just grab, I'm just gonna grab that, that color from the orange. And then I'm gonna bring that back to blue. And now I'm gonna go back to gradient. And I'm just gonna add that orange color here. See what we get. And then, let's move this over so we can see. It gives you a couple style options that you can choose from. I think I like that one because it kind of brings out everything. All right, so this is gonna be our front cover and this is going to be the back cover. Now, because we're keeping this book as simple as possible, I don't wanna put any words on my title. Remember I said that's why I'm gonna do 200 pages for the interior, because I wanted the spine to be thick enough where I can add my words. So this is where I'm going to now go in and I'm going to pull text from the text element and I'm just going to add the title of my book. Let's say I wanted the title to be Pretty Girl Notebook. I would just use this rotator tool and I would turn it to fit the spine and then I would uh, make it smaller. And then that way, instead of your title being on the cover, you could just leave your cover to be beautiful and stand out and sell itself. Now let's just remove this. And then as you can see, this is how the book would look when someone goes to purchase it. And then you can change this color to maybe one of the colors in the book. And then we're gonna duplicate this and then we're just gonna rotate it. And let's say for the back of the book, we may wanna say something like, beautiful girl, you can do amazing things. And then of course, we're gonna make that bigger because it's on the back cover. And if we wanted to change the font,
Let's see. Beautiful girl. You can do amazing things. And let's say I wanted to make that white just so it can pop a little bit. I'm just going to bring my... I'm going to bring this back in one more time just so you can see. And then I'm going to make this transparent just so we can make sure. So we have the main image that's inside all of the dimensions. We have our fine text, which includes our cover title. And then we have a little quote on the back and nothing is in the area of the barcode and everything is in like it should be. So I'll just click back on the KDP template and then just go ahead and delete that and you can see. Now let's say you're super busy and you love this design that was just created today and you want to purchase this to start your business or to publish your first book or you just want to add to your business that you already have on KDP. What I'm going to do is I'm going to list this under my done for you section, um, under the notebook section. I'm going to list this specific notebook. And if you like this, you can go to the website, to my website at Bookbag University. I'll leave the link below to it. And then you'll be able to download the 200 page composition interior as well as this specific cover file. Let's say you want to make any changes to your cover and you want to go in and you may want the font to be different. You can change to any of the fonts. You can even, um, let's say you want your, um, your title on the spine, but let's say you also want your title on the actual cover of the book. Then you can bring the title here and you can, um, you know, play with it to make it how you want. Because you may want to add your title. And you also may want to add your author name. So this template could be yours. Like I said, just click on the link below. Now, I'm only selling this to one person. So once it's gone, just like this one, then it will not be resold, okay? So if this is something that you like, you want to go ahead and jump on it quickly because, like I said, it's going to be one buyer, no restrictions. Once it's sold, it's sold. Now, thank you so much again for subscribing to the channel and clicking that like button. And leave me a comment below to let me know if this was helpful and what other types of um, covers you may want to see and create for yourself. If you're ready to upload your book to KDP, I do have a step-by-step -step video where I walk you through uploading your book and you can watch that video here. All right, guys, until next time, bye-bye.